The NSX Type S was the last of the second generation NSX and is hand built in Ohio at the Performance Manufacturing Center for Acura. Now that the vehicle is canceled, there's room for them to continue to offer special editions of their current models, which are hand built at that same NSX factory essentially. So let's get into this year's PMC edition of the TLX Type S. <laughs> All right, let's get into this document, TLX Type S PMC Edition. It's not the first PMC edition I've covered on the channel. The most notable one that comes to mind is the uh, pumpkin spice that I had a couple years ago with the RDX, which I've actually seen a couple here in Naples. It's pretty cool with the orange and black contrast. Anyways, this year it's the TLX Type S. It has three colors. You have Curver Red, 130R White, and Long Beach Blue. Unique accents include Berlina black roof, copper 20 inch lightweight wheels, which have a, just a different finish of the performance wheels and tires on the TLX Type S. They look awesome in copper finish. And the first TLX Type S PMC edition planned for production later this year. Before we get into all of these bullet points, which have a ton of details for this handcrafted TLX PMC, we need to talk about some of the extra treatment it gets coming from this factory. So after the hand assembly process, each TLX Type S PMC edition receives the same quality control process as the outgoing NSX, including a dyno check, paint inspection, and rough road simulation. To protect the paint during shipping, the PMC editions are wrapped in a specialty designed car cover and transported to Acura dealers via enclosed single car carriers. Okay, now that we got that special treatment out of the way, how is this car affected? How is it different? What kind of other enhancements does it have here that the PMC edition is specially getting? Okay, we already talked about how it's hand assembled. And think about it, guys. Yes, you're gonna be paying more for this TLX Type S than a normal TLX Type S, but it's essentially being put together by the hands that create the NSX. So to me, that alone, that exclusivity, the uniqueness of it is worth the price. How many cars can you actually buy out there that are hand built? Typically, you're paying supercar prices well over 100 grand for vehicles that are hand built. Here you can get it for probably, I don't know, it's probably going to be 55 to 60k. It's hard to say. I might retroactive that and put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but we'll know pricing later. We already talked about the paint colors, but Curver Red comes with a black, aka ebony interior. 130R White comes with a red interior, and Long Beach Blue comes with the orchid interior. We have a carbon fiber deck lid spoiler, carbon fiber rear diffuser, lightweight copper Y spoke wheels with black lug nuts. We have Pirelli P0 summer tires, 255 by 35. We have Berlina Black roof panel and antenna. We also have that black on the door handles. We have black chrome quad exhaust finishers, hell yeah. Gloss black badging, side gill garnish, carbon fiber interior trim panels, illuminated type S side sills, which I don't think we have images of that, but I think it's a, like a dealer installed or maybe even a factory installed option on the TLX type S. Maybe not, I'm trying to think, I don't quite remember. But anyways, premium floor mats with Type S badges and colored accent binding. We have flat bottom heated steering wheel and unique PMC edition numbered serial plaque. Another year, another PMC edition from Acura. Next year, it's probably gonna be the Integra, right? Maybe they have a PMC edition of the Type S. I don't know, I'm just getting really excited about the Type S because the Honda Civic Type R is going to be announced very soon. I plan on bringing you guys hands-on coverage of that, fingers crossed. It should be in California, but anyways, don't wanna to say too much. I'm, I'm very excited for the Acura TLX Type S PMC edition. I like how they're offering it in multiple colors. In the past with other PMC editions, I only remember them offering it in like one specialty color, but now you have a, a choice of three. I mean, if you think about it, why are they doing three? It's probably because the NSX had all these super expensive paint colors exclusive to that model, but now that the NSX is no longer production, they're like, okay, how do we get these colors to other vehicles? And here we go. They're putting it on the PMC edition of the TLX Type S. Gonna end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's coverage, hit the like button, subscribe for more Acura news and reviews. Gosh, what is the next Acura new? Hold on, hold on. What is the next Acura thing we will hear about? Uh, it's either Integra Type S or the new Cadillac Lyric stablemate ev coming from hashtag gondam um so it's one of those two things would be my guess coming from acura first when will we hear about those new vehicles oh, well probably in a year so nothing 
too soon. Type R has to come out and be on the market essentially before the Type S is an unveiled is my guess. But I'm going to end it there. Got to cut myself off before I continue rambling. This is my first video of the day. Really eager to just chat. All right, let's cut myself off. Have a good one, guys. Peace.